engaging on stuff and commenting and all these things right you got to be doing regularly <laughs>
how many days have you you been engaging with their posts okay because that, that's really important on Facebook um there's also how many times they've seen you but that's that's kind of comes automatically by the other stuff but okay so after you've engaged and oh that's nice engaged been engaging okay so how many uh days have you been engaging with their posts how many have you contacted how many have answered you how many have you have looked at your thing how many have tried your thing and then obviously how many how many have bought your thing right okay so because you know whatever it is you're selling if it's a course so if it's a course let's just take a take a look at a course idea right so for a course you basically would you would want them to go look at your course landing page or just maybe you have a, an intro video or maybe you have a trial the first you know um the first video in your less in your course maybe lesson one right is an intro it kind of gives them an idea so you would want to know that they've looked at your course intro right uh you would want to know that they've tried your course or maybe that they maybe this is they've looked at your course landing page right and this is maybe they've looked at your first video right and this keeps track of what where you are in the process okay so now after you've come up with what it is that uh that you want them to be doing or what you want to be tracking right through the process then you're going to kind of have to give these a name so now you give each stage a name right <laughs> and or I, I guess I should say map them out with whatever tool you're using right or map to tool right so for example I have a tool where uh, I'm actually not sure anymore what the let me take a look at my phone here what the what are the levels or or I guess uh, what I would call the stage that I can put people in uh, okay so I've got new new lead right then I have an active lead I'm not sure I think I might need to have better better uh, then I have a drop lead and I have oh I guess there's a and then invalid invalid and lost then there's also um temperature right there's also temperature so temperature hot so no temperature So these are kind of the things that you can kind of keep track of no uh, cold temperature right then we have warm temperature right and then we have hot temperature temperature okay so now how do you use these right so for example we could go and say that let's turn this off <laughs> we could go and say that somebody who has who have engaged on their posts they're just a new lead and there there's no temperature okay so I'm just gonna put that here new lead whoops new lead no temperature so this would be like the default right new so how many <laughs> how many days is just a count right so it's not really I guess uh after let's say five days they would be a new lead and it's be a warm temperature right so I mean it could be if I wanted to I could say after like two days or after um well not five days five I uh, would say engagements engagement days which you know if you do it if you do it every day then it could be after five days if you do it every two three four five days it could be after you know five weeks right so it really depends on your uh, how fast you want to do it but also you got to keep in mind if you try to if you try to reach out to people too fast it's it usually doesn't work so you got to give them time for you to mm, uh, in French we say mijoter uh, <laughs> what would that be in English uh to 
you know when you put something on the stove and you let it sit that low temperature for a long time um I don't know what you call that I'd have to look it up but you let them sit oh simmer there you go the word is simmer you let them simmer you you have to simmer in their mind for a while you can't just be like poof 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 every day right it's not going to work if you do that every day at least you know not it might work but you're going to need a lot more people to contact if you're doing it too fast right um so here's the thing so that's why I prefer using and I'll sh I kind of show you what I'm talking about but basically you want to have something like this where you're basically having uh you know a number of days after a certain number of days they're still new right because you haven't actually contacted them yet you're just engaging on their stuff uh, but they're warm they're warm because they've started to see you you've simmered in their mind for a while and they're like actually and uh appreciating what you're doing because you're engaging on their posts right and that's stuff I talk about in another episode so you might want to go check out the other episodes I have but yeah so okay so now after you've contacted them they are active actively and they're still just warm warm uh temperature right all right what's temperature so after you've contacted then after they've answered you they are active they are still an active lead what's the right active lead and they are let's say they're a hot temperature uh I guess I need more lead levels right or lead uh, should they still be I think they should still be warm I guess I need to have a, a level here I'm gonna have to actually add that to my tool so that I can have these let's say I want an active lead and I want a let's say contacted uh contacted lead let's add a contacted lead right contacted let's do that so contacted I'm actually gonna have to add that to my tool and they're still warm warm temperature okay they've looked at your thing I would say this is actually they, it need, I need to have these these have to be all separate levels right so contacted and then uh, what's the thing when we talk about presented presented lead right I want a presented lead and I also want a um trial lead and a sold lead I want all these different kinds of leads right so this is this would be a presented presented lead and I'm just gonna uh would it be hot by then probably not let's still leave it at warm right and obviously that's your choice as to how you want to kind of decide these things but now you've tried they've tried your not your time your thing right they've tried your thing so it's either a trial or they've paid for a, a, a trial and you know it could be that there's no credit card no nothing they just go in there like in my case uh the well the actual tool that I'm going to be prom that I'm promoting they can actually try it without putting a credit card or anything right so this would be uh they tried your thing this would be a trial lead and they are uh, hot I'm going to put them as hot now at this time temperature and then over here this they have sold this is sold lead and their hot temperature now now the other uh, levels here the drop lead the invalid lead, the, the lost lead right those ones um actually have should I have a cold in here so days so these would still be cold let's say this is cold during that time yeah I want a cold I want a time where it's warm hot and cold right okay so these other ones right the dropped invalid and lost that's when you're using a tool like Facebook where where the uh the the data is in somebody else's database like Facebook's database right meta nowadays uh at some point that that profile might disappear or maybe maybe you have a conversation with them and they never get back to you right so after a little bit you're going to change it to a lost lead or you can change it to invalid lead or drop lead if you draw maybe a drop lead is a lead that you choose to drop because I don't know maybe they're just into something that you're you're not into um 
I don't know say uh say you don't like politics people talking about politics and that's all they have on their Facebook profiles they just talk about politics maybe you don't want to engage with them because you don't want to be you know connected with them you don't want, you don't want to be their friends that's fine you're allowed maybe they they talk about religion all the time maybe they talk about you know whatever it is I'm using those two as you know extreme examples obviously that's not very nice to but I'm just saying like say there's a particular topic that you don't like you know something so something that you're not into at all that you would not want to have conversations with because they're just not your type then you just can make them as drop lead right invalid might be if it's um, not a Facebook account maybe it's a it's a an, a bot page or maybe it's a Facebook page instead of a profile or whatever you can decide that it's invalid and then lost I would say could be when you decide that they they've said no to you or they've ignored you right <clears throat> so that's kind of how that would could work but like I said really this is your choice right how do you how you choose to um to use these these levels of leads and stuff is really up to you right now um I'm using I'm only right now I'm only doing this so far starting today I'm actually starting to go and do these other things that have to do with my tool so um so let's okay let's get into okay when I'm talking about when okay so here's the thing you're on Facebook right you're scrolling through Facebook you're looking at what people are doing you're engaging on their stuff and you're like okay how do I how do I keep track of who I engage with or not you know what 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 do I do I go into my notifications here and I go look through the list of people that have engaged on my stuff and I look at their their comments and then and then and then what do I do oh I click the marketplace sorry I didn't mean to um so what do I do I go into groups maybe and I go and engage on people's uh posts in the groups right I actually comment on their stuff so then how do I keep track how do I know who I engage with you know five days ago uh, a, a month ago how do I know right so you could have you know google sheets and cut and paste stuff and keep track and whatever but that is oh that is and you know you could also just be like okay you know what it's random it doesn't matter over time it'll get better because you know that is true if you are on social media for a long time right if you're on social media for a long time and you start to engage on people's stuff they'll start to notice you if you create content there's all these different things that you should be doing right on social media is posting things and engaging on stuff and commenting and all these things right you got to be doing regularly right you got to be doing that regularly and that's that's good and over time maybe six months a year later people are going to start to notice you they're going to start to like you maybe they're going to friend you maybe you have a conversation with them about their family things like that and you don't have anything to sell them or anything that's great but when it comes time to sell something they need to know like and trust you which is why you have to be creating content all the time why you have to be posting all the time you have to be engaging all the time and um and that's when you reach out to them and say hey you know what I we've been friends for a while I just I mean I I I'm, we never really talked about what I do but I was noticing you do you do this or you posted this and you seem you, you might be you might have value you might find value in what I have to offer you mind if I tell you about it a little bit right so if they if they're warmed up to you if they've seen you enough if you've been engaging on their stuff if you've been having conversations about their family their 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 their, their, their hobbies and whatever they're going to be like okay yeah sure why not right but if you haven't had any kind of conversation then they won't and if you're leaving up to chance it'll take a long time for you to get to that point where you can actually do that some people say just go ahead have conversation with people all the time and that's that's fine and you can kind of keep track if I look at my you know my list of uh, messages here right <laughs> well that's what I was I wasn't looking at notifications notifications right and see how many people are engaging on my stuff how many people are actually commenting on my stuff and how many people are reacting to my comments and my engagement right uh and in my messages I can kind of keep track of who I had conversations with I can actually go back to this this guy here I mean obviously this is somebody who called me in the middle of the night 6 a.m said hi bro whatever this is and if I had conversations with pe some people I could actually go back in here 
and I can actually go and you know like uh Mariella here she sent she sent me stuff I kind of going back and forth just having conversations that you know <laughs> that is definitely one way you can keep track of stuff but there's better way there's a better way all right so let's just get right to it I'm going to show you the tool I use so if you go to this link if we go to this link right let's go to this link active group users.com right oh I should have logged out I should have logged out because I'm, I'm logged in right now let me log out here so log out okay so when you first go to that uh page you're going to see this it'll be the same as this so basically this is a tool that lets you keep track and maybe I should have showed you the tool uh, results first actually let's do that I'm just going to log in here I'm already logged in um and I already have an account so I'm I can go into here into my data my CRM data here it's kind of a poor man CRM if you will and I can see right here who I've um the the people the, the comments are post that kind of stuff and the default is showing me whatever um I chose as uh, searches and results and all that what all, and whatnot but right now when I want to see I can keep track here like for example I can say okay I want to see let's see just go all the contacts right and I want to see uh just right now I want to go and look at people that I've engaged with at least five let's say six days and let's make it ten uh that haven't that have no note and let's go like this okay so that lets me see the people that I have not engaged with yet or that I've engaged with only a certain a number of days as you can tell I'm doing like I've got 56 records can you see that yeah you can so I've got 56 records here that show me how many people I've actually engaged with now these are showing me um the some of these notes I can't comment this kind of stuff but that's fine um but and and this is the thing it lets me know who I need to engage with on today right later on when I like I said when I start to do this I can actually go into the columns here and I can add for example the where's the where did it, did it, uh, maybe it's not there okay it should be here by the time you look at it it'll be there but you should be able to add here the temperature and stuff so if I go to Karen Bland here you can see her temperature is set to none because I haven't set that yet but I can set her temperature to warm and I can just le leave her at least says you know when we're talking about the notes here in my notes I have I said that I've engaged on their posts no temperature after five engagement days I should set it to cold so let's do that so I've got the temperature set to cold here let's set the temperature to the lead is still new set the temperature to cold all right so then I can go to her profile I can click on it here and I go to her page and I can actually engage on some of her posts I already engaged on this um and this one here I haven't so I would actually and this is the thing this is this is Facebook engagement 101 right so you got to go to the people's profiles you got to engage on their posts that makes them see you in their notifications which warms you up to them because they're going to start to notice you and no matter what it is you're trying to promote what's going to change is you're going to choose different groups uh, to find and I'm going to show you that in a second but let's say I just go like this I'm just gonna I like this I'm gonna say wow wow looks looks like a great time right so I'm just gonna comment like this so that's one comment and one engaged post what I try to do is I try to engage on three posts and add three comments so this is another one here and I'm just going to go like this and so you know whatever you comment right whatever you comment is you know relevant you got to make sure it's relevant otherwise they're going to be like who is this person right so you got to kind of comment rel right now I'm not being super super uh, efficient I I'm trying to go faster because I'm trying to show you the process here but this this is the third one and I'm actually going to go here and say every day every day is a great day great day there you go just like that <laughs> so you know obviously that's but anyway so that's so now I've engaged on three posts and three comments so I just close this tab uh which you can't actually see the tab right so let's just uh well maybe I can move it so you can kind of see it let's do that like this so you can see the tab up here I have the tab open um, let's get the url out of there for now uh, but here's the thing so now you have uh have her here 
and I just say uh, I've been commented on three posts engage on three posts and save the updates right so now when I look at Karen here it says that I've visited her three times whoops that load, loads up the thing I visited her three times I reacted to nine of her posts and commented on nine of her posts so that just tells me that she's you know I've engaged three times on her stuff so she's seen my notifications three times over the last a certain amount of time if I click on her and again I can see that it's nine posts in the last 14 days right so depending on how well you're tracking uh if you're doing it really regularly you have a, a really well organized process so what you're going to want to do is maybe you're going to want to engage on 10 or, or 15 new people every single day so that way you can go in here to clear the filter and you can actually find people you have not visited yet right and you can go visit them right uh every day and here's the way how do you use this tool right how do you get the tool how do you install it how do you get this data here all these names here where did where do they come from right you might be thinking all those questions wondering what is this right so here's how it works so let's just put the link here again if you go to that link right if you go to that link let me just put it down here a little bit here there like that okay so if you go to that link you're like I said you're going to end up on this page right you're going to end up on this page here that says home of blah 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 now what you want to do is you want to install this as an extension you click on this link here actually I'm going to log out first log out make sure that I'm not logged in okay so when you go to that link you're going to see this which is going to ask you to add to chrome it's a chrome extension you can kind of read up on it a little bit and uh, see the reviews and things like that but just click on add to chrome that'll install it on your browser so add extension right and after it's installed you'll see it come up here right so over here if I just click here it disappears right but if you want it to show up here as a little icon you go to the little um, puzzle piece and you just click on the little on the little pin right there to make it always show up right so now it's always going to be here so what you do is you click on it to open it up and the first time it wants you to have an access key so you're going to have an access key and you to get the access key you can just click this right find by clicking here click on that and then uh once you get there before you can have an access key you have to have an account so you just click here to register an account and you're going to click on continue with Facebook that'll just activate an account for you it'll actually oh it went away too fast but when you first go there it'll ask you you know like other websites the website is asking for your user for your email and things like that you're gonna have to approve that and then after that it loads up this page and now you can click on get access key right there and here's your access key now we could look at it uh, but I'm just going to copy the clipboard we don't really need to see what it looks like and you go back to the extension by clicking the little extension button here and then you just paste that in here right so when you first do this you're not going to have a list of groups like I do as you can see right here I have a list of groups but and the way it works is that you'll see it'll be empty and you'll have to enter uh, groups right so what you do is you go to Facebook and you go to the groups that you're in that you're that you want to you know that whatever you're interested in or I not really no sorry not what you're interested in the groups that your target market is in so the groups that they are in what this tool will do is it'll find the people that are actually active it doesn't give you the list of users in the groups because that's useless if they're not actually taking uh, engaging on posts and doing stuff in in the in the groups right then that won't that's useless just having the list because you know I can go to this group here VR news let's say right if I go to VR news I can actually go in here and I can look at members and it'll tell me the list of members but you know what what am I going to do here well, I'm going to go and message each of these people that's an awful thing to do by the way you don't want to do that how do you know you know multiple people manage um, new to the group right the new people of the group I mean there's a list a list of thousands of people in all these groups right but how, who do you know how do you know who you should contact and the other thing too is that <laughs> you don't want to contact people just out of the blue you got to be a person they see doing things that they want before you even you remember that saying do for others until you ask them 
something in return right do things for them and that's the best way for you to get what you know what to get something in return you do things for them they're gonna then they're gonna be okay to do things for you right but don't just send them a message or anything so this is what the tool does so let's say for example I have uh, whoops where's the uh, Facebook so let's say I want this group I'm just gonna take the link to the group right here oh actually not slash members let's just go to the uh, uh, discussion right so this is the group gear VR is a group right it doesn't really matter then you go into the uh, extension again you click that little thing now now that you've got your activation key it'll always load up the main page <clears throat> and then what you do is you just enter a group right here and then you just add it and then it'll show up in your list down here see how it's there in the list now um well I got an error now but I don't know why but it's it's there let's see if maybe uh, that's interesting that's the first time I've seen that uh let's look at the list see if it's there now it's not there okay let's add it again let's add it's there is it it's failed to save I don't know why it's doing that but anyways it'll be fixed by the time you look at it your group's going to show up in the list so once you have your groups in the list you will you can do a start right here which will actually start the scraping process uh but before we look at that let's look at the options one of the things that I do is I set a schedule so it runs every night at 2 a.m right so I don't have to schedule it by default this is off and the speed is slow by default you can make it faster but I don't recommend going in faster because especially if you run it on a schedule you don't have to wait for it right so if I go home and I click on start it'll actually do a scraping right now what that does is it opens up a window and then it goes to the Facebook group number one and goes to Facebook group number two then it looks at the posts and then it, what it does is it finds the people that are actually active in the group so it'll it'll actually look at the post let's see if I look at this group here it'll actually go down here and I'll find that this person here uh is is active so I actually it, it went and found all the people and then it, now it's going to start loading up other uh pages and this is kind of what it does it opens tabs and close tabs and it goes and navigates and finds the posts and finds the people that are actually active like summary right here here the comments that are here it's actually going to go find the comments in the page right so it loads up all these you know that's kind of what it does so that's what the extension does so I'm just gonna uh, stop it right now you can close this window that'll stop it right now it hasn't found anything yet because it's only just loading up the groups uh but after a while this thing here will change into a number it'll go up in, in numbers and down here you can actually see over here too right it says so so far I mean that's not exactly right but it'll update down here once it starts to find people right so this um <clears throat> this tab here is loading up it tells you not don't close it because it'll stop the scraping right so I can do that I'll stop it and it'll just say it stopped right so I've already done it so that's when you once you've got the scrape done the first time you do you're going to click on view data it's going to take you to this page and this page will have well it won't have what I have here right it'll have whatever uh, was the last scrape that you did and you can go once you've done it for a while you'll have a bunch of results like this and you'll be able to go to past days or you'll be able to go by all contacts and use the all contacts to choose you know which ones are new so you might want to do like every day you know the all the all the people that I've engaged with five days ago or more right and then maybe there's 10 of those and then you want to engage on you know 10 more that you haven't engaged yet with yet so you can do all that with this and the idea is that you end up with this uh situ this state where you know you're looking at it. you drop leads every day eventually you drop leads every day because they're not interested in your thing so you skip them you stop engaging on their stuff uh but every day you engage on a certain number of people and here's the other thing let's do that here number three you want to have a a a process have a process you follow every day right so what I do is I engage on 20 profiles uh engage on 20 profiles that I engaged and maybe I'm gonna have to change these numbers but that's what I've been doing engaged with already in la in uh five six plus days ago whoops days ago right 
So then the other thing is I engage on maybe I do 15 I'm actually going to do that so 15 engage on five new profiles right that I never engaged on never engaged on then I want to do is I want to send five messages to profiles I engaged engaged with at least five times five different days right so that would mean if I've engaged with them like say let's okay so that this is the thing so if I look at this I go through my uh my all my contacts right and then what I do is I look at okay everybody that I've been I don't like actually I guess it doesn't really show here oh well, I'll be able to okay so let's say uh I've actually engaged with them hmm, how can I I actually well I guess I can do visits here and or do the reverse of visits and it'll show me 18 visits here so let's say for example in this case <laughs> this is actually not a real email there's a test but in this case see if I look at this I can see that I visited all these people right that I visited at least so all these people that I visited 18 17 15 14 times this is what this is right the number of visits to this contact social profile so this is how many times so I could actually send messages to all these people because I've engaged with them enough that they would recognize my name and I've also engaged with stuff on their on their profile that they would actually appreciate me because what I've done is I've engaged on their personal profile stuff you know why do people post on Facebook because they want people to engage on their stuff they want people to say hey that's a great picture they want people to say lovely family they want people to say happy Chris Merry Christmas they want people to say you know happy Mother's Day on on your Mother's Day post right they want you to say those things that's what they want so if you do that they automatically will like you if they like you then if they like you enough if you do enough stuff then they'll trust you and they'll actually listen to you when you reach out to them right so that's why with this tool you can kind of keep track of who you've already engaged with and you know uh, <laughs> and then I can actually go to these profiles I'm going to go Stephanie here I can go to her profile and then I can go and send her a message right I don't have to I don't have to go and try to find her whatever right I can just send her a message right here right and say hey Stephanie blah 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 I've uh, been engaging with your stuff for a while I appreciate uh what you do and, you know whatever your message is you've got to come up with that obviously it's going to be based on your on your uh, activity with with them right how or sorry what you want them to do what you want them to look at so that's kind of what how that is and then uh, then over here you would say I sent them a message and you would also change the lead status and the temperature based on what your what level you're at right now right so that's kind of what we would do here and then what else can I do and then I would say uh what else and then of course I would um update uh lead status and temperature based on the results right so that would allow me and this would engage on 15 uh, that are active leads right obviously they're not active anymore it's because I've engaged with them I've sent them a message or something right and then they have not responded and uh, that's kind of that's kind of what uh I would do right I would actually update this so that then I can say oh this lead so in my list I I might have 20 right now and then when I go through and I send a message they say no they're not interested I'll remove them and they'll have less and that's kind of how you keep track and you keep adding you have to keep adding new people right so you have new blood all the time as well and you're growing your um, your connections and yeah so that's kind of how you do it that's that's how you keep track of your leads using a tool like this because without a tool it's way too hard and uh hopefully um you know this is something that uh, you will if you want to learn more about reach out to me or just go to that link and go install it and try it out All right so hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video this has been course income secrets 
the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.